Airbus UK Broughton isn't just a football club with a single stadium, they are much more. Set up in 2020, the Wings Club provides the community with many modern day facilities. As you walk in the club, you will find a gym down at the bottom containing equipment such as treadmills for running and dumbbells for lifting heavy compound weights. With 900 members at the Wings Club gym, I caught up with the manager Jonathan Williams on how proud he is of the gym's facilities. It's, uh, it's been very successful. When we started here we had uh, 300 existing members of the gym because it's right in the middle of Covid and now we're near 900 uh, so that's been a huge success. We're contemplating capping it at the moment because we can't fit them all in. Uh, when running on the treadmills, you have a perfect view of the Airbus Stadium, the airfield, and a newly placed 3G Astro connected to the Wings Club gym. As we go further down the Wings Club, you will find the Social Hub, which is the real heart. In here, there is a bar where you can be served drinks, plus a menu where food is also served every day. With the social club, there is a real vibrant sense of community in here. Owner Jonathan Williams explains why that is so important when setting up a top facility like the Winds Club. Uh, and then the bar now is becoming to be used uh, heavily in terms of lots of community groups coming in to use it and likewise the multi-purpose facilities. So. Brilliant. Um, as I mentioned, the facilities, you have a gym, sports hall, social club. Um, that makes me feel like the Wings Club is an integral part of the community. Is that sense of community something you strive for uh, with, with, with her? Yeah, definitely. And that was all in the, uh, the sort of restructuring, if you like, the legal aspects of the club. We used to be a uh, what's known as unincorporated members club, which is like an old fashioned sort of uh, working man's club environment. Uh, whereby it's committee driven, whereas now we've moved to become a KIC, which is a community interest company, and that is, as it says in the name, for the community. So that was the whole ethos around it, uh, and we've made sure that the pricing structure matches that for, for, for the likes of the gym, for the bar prices, and so on. We're not there to make a profit as such. Uh, we hope to make a slight profit because then we can reinvest in the facility and improve it and keep it up to date. But yeah, very proud of it, and it is very much uh, becoming a hub for the community, which is our intention. Uh, and we're also lucky that it joins the uh, football facility, because now the, the two complement each other, and we can get trade off on the back of each other. So that works well. On match days, the sports hall is opened up with the social club, and it welcomes fans and players from both teams to have a pint or pie on a match day. With the four screens, the club also shows Sky or BT, so fans can enjoy matches. Um, obviously, the social club is excellent on match days. I come here quite a bit to, to have a pint at half time when it's cold. Um, it's, um, there's not many football clubs that have somewhere where they can socialise on a game on match days. How important is that fans have somewhere where they can come at half time and have a pint and catch up with people? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it, it, it lends itself so well to our community. Uh, club, if you like, yeah. uh, having that facility to complement it, and uh, I'm hoping that, given the time, uh, it will become known for that aspect because uh, we're able to, with having the fantastic facility, provide those facilities where it's a building right adjacent to the pitch itself. So it's so easy. There's no excuses if people just pop out and have a cup of tea or a pint, or be fancy or pie at half time and full time and. Uh, because of the setup, it means that the actual fans can integrate with the players and the manager and, uh, and chat openly, which is what we hope for. Not only do the community get to use the club, but also the Airbus first team. I caught up with first team coach Rick Chapman to explain how they use the facilities. Yeah, I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think there's a, a real club feel about the place. When you go in there, there's always members of the club there, um, whether it be in a you know, Saturday morning when there's coffees and bacon buttons going on, or whether it be a, a Saturday night after a game and there's a few beers. It's um yeah, it's a real real top top facility. Uh, we're able to use it for analysis and we're able to use it um for 
strength and conditioning sessions and all sorts of sessions, as well as the, the players having access to the gym as well. Yeah. It, it sort of really brings in the, the feel of the club and is able to have everything on site for us here, which is which is really good. As shown, the, the facilities of the club are of top standard. I wanted to ask if Jonathan Williams had any plans in the future for the club. Uh, I think in terms of the uh, the bar, we've looked at the, the kitchen side of it. Uh, the, there's a few uh, items in there we'd like to replace and upgrade and improve on, and we could increase the menu uh, options. Uh, so that's one part of it. Uh, we've changed TVs around already a few times and improved on those. Uh, the gym, we've uh, an outdoor training area as well, which complements the gym, and that's got a, a 3G you know, artificial grass there. Uh, we're looking at putting a, a rig in that over the coming 12 months, whereby people can do a lot more outdoor training as well during the summer and spring, autumn weather. So that's permits by the British climate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, we'll just carry on making sure that everything's in tip-top condition. Yeah. And as soon as it starts to retired, we'll make sure it gets changed.